Hello guys and dolls, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, we are doing a panel change on a Mega 8K. But before we get started, roll those credits. Okay, so the inevitable happened. We had a VEP tear. So we managed to get some uh, resin on the screen of our printer. We tried to remove it with a razor blade. We didn't keep that razor blade perfectly flat. And as a result, we've taken, some, we've taken a chunk out of the screen. The screen still works and you can still print in 90% of the area, but there's one little block that now just always lets UV light through. So whatever you print, there's one giant column um, that goes through it. You were a bit tight on cash and you couldn't afford to buy a new panel. It's workable, but what it does do is waste a heck of a lot of resin. So Frozen sent us a 15 inch 8K replacement panel. These aren't particularly cheap. Right now on the Frozen website, these are $389.99. Now, just so we're clear, screens on MSLA printers are wearable parts. They will eventually always need replacing. They normally have between two and 4,000 hours. Sometimes you're really lucky and you get the 4,000. Sometimes you're really unlucky and you get 250 because you scratch the screen and, uh, and now you have to go through a really long replacement, which sometimes you can't do. But luckily, sometimes you run a YouTube channel with somebody who can do it and you bring it to that person's house and you make that person put it up on a really high bench and then that person has to spend their time fixing the thing that you did. Sometimes you're born with that level of luck. Sometimes you aren't. It's hard to say who those people are. I'm not that lucky because the Mega 8K doesn't live at my house. It lives in a different workshop, which is where it got damaged by somebody who luckily enough does have a YouTube channel and someone who can change the screen. So isn't that just lucky for everybody? Luck, 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 luck. You bring it to the J-Dog. You bring it to the J Dog, which almost definitely isn't going to catch on. So, okay, so uh, we will dive straight into this. We'll take a look at the screen itself, how it all comes packaged, and then we'll dive straight into getting this thing fitted. Okay, so world's quickest unboxing. You open the box, inside the box is some protective film, inside of that is another piece of protected film, and then you have the screen. There is also a replacement um, cable here. These cables aren't proprietary. They are generic, but it can be really difficult to find the right pin to pins. So they've included one of those for you as well. You can see here, this is the connector on the back of the screen. So we'll just pick that up. You can see here that this is where the connector goes. So for now, we will leave this in the box whilst we remove the broken one. Okay, so very quickly, we'll just show you what our fault is. So you take out your vat, you put that down on a clean surface. We go to LCD test, starts the exposure, and you can see right here, this is the culprit. So this is where we've had the resin leak. We've scratched that screen, and as a result of scratching it, it's now permanently exposing that area. So regardless of what you're printing, you always get that very inconvenient little column coming out that will, um, so if I put that onto, if it goes onto vac cleaning, it all looks fine other than this little bit of resin that's on here, uh, which doesn't matter. <laughs> um, if we go to exposure, you should see the inside of this square should all be dark and that damage there is what we are having to replace. Okay, so first things first, we need to take off our tape. Now this is normal electrical tape and it seals the bottom of the vat at the bottom of the printer from any resin leakage. So we'll pull all of this off. We will be installing fresh tape on this, but this should peel off fairly well. 
if you've got a lot of hours on your printer, this tape can become really um, like brittle over time or it like can strip out. So that can be a real pain. That's how that should look, everything out. Okay, the tape is all that holds the screen in place. It sits inside of a little slot in here. So now you can just lift this up and this will come out. Now you can see here that there are two little dots of glue on this. Now you can just pick that off and you should be able to just release that clip afterwards. So let's just remove those. I'm going to have to use a pair of these. Now remember, this cable does come as a spare with the screen, but I'm hoping that we won't have to use the spare because that means taking the printer apart to be able to get to the next section and I don't want to do that. So let's just have a look. Let me just pull on this. You can see that there is couple of little clips, one on this side, one on this side, and those should mean that we can just pop that out. So you can see that this has got that, night, that little clip there which just flips over the back of the screen. We'll pop this here for the moment whilst we remove the old screen. So again, you can just see that damage there. You can actually see that if I pass my finger over the back of it, you could kind of see straight through and that's where we've damaged that top photo film. So that's the old screen gone. So there is a top and a bottom to this. So the bottom, you can see around the edge of the bottom, you can actually see a bit of blue, but as well, when you're putting this in, the frozen logo here should be towards you so that you can see where that clip is. So then all you need to do is you take your, go like that, that goes over the back there. That's nice and secure. You post that down. And that should just sit in there. And then very quickly, we'll just do an LCD test and you can see that that is working. So next, we just get some electrical tape and we go round the outside. Okay, so then we have our electrical tape and we just want to go over the edges of this just to make sure that we seal this against any leakages. So I'll do the sides first. do a couple of passes with this section just because our tape isn't quite long enough. There we go, and we'll do one final test just to make sure, but you can see, nice and even light, nothing on that screen at all, everything's sealed down, and you're good to start printing again. Okay, and it really is as simple as that. So that was a 10 minute job. It can be really daunting sometimes when you've got to sit down and try and do maintenance on your printers. There are really no 3D printers that are completely maintenance and hassle free. That screen is a wearable part. You will eventually have to change it. 
don't be afraid to try, okay? Um, so that was a 10 minute job. It was one clip removing some tape. Actually really easy. You saw we didn't need any tools. At best, you needed a pair of blue handled clippers just to remove that little bit of glue and just to move that um, clip on the uh, connector. But all working, back up and running. Catch you on the next video.